I read eight books before I got married on marriage and they are all by Christian authors. And then uh, uh, I saw all of them were just talking about solving problems. So I wanted to find out from God exactly what did you create this thing for? Is it created for problems? I was searching, I was praying. And then I was in a public transport on a mission somewhere. We were not married then. Then light broke out. And God showed me seven reasons behind the institution of marriage. I screamed, yay, said, for each to be married. My counselor asked me, David, what are you looking forward to when we're doing the rounding off of? And I said, each to be married. He said, how do you mean? I said, we've never had any issue since we began coaching. But I said, David, you know, when you live in a park, it's difficult to step on one another's toes. But when you live together, it's impossible. I said, sir, me and you are sitting on the same coach. <laughs> Why am I not stepping on your toes? <laughs> he looked at me. I said, two reasons. One, I'm not blind. Two, I'm not wicked. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It has been no case in that time. And you know what it means to have a crisis-free family line? You are able to face whatever you are doing with all intensity and focus. I've never had one day prayer. Oh God, keep this family going. Light kept it going. My commitment to engaging with the things I found kept it going. It's all about light. It's all about light.